Hello Booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Today I'm going to be talking about my Booktubeathon TBR. So since I'm new to Booktube still, I still consider myself new, um, I've never heard of the Booktubeathon and I had no idea what it was and I looked it up and I'm like, oh this is cool, there's a week long thing with challenges and all that good stuff. And even though I'm terrible at readathons, I figured why not try and fail again? Maybe I won't fail this time, maybe I'll just succeed, maybe I'll be awesome. I don't know. We'll find out. My voice is a little scratchy because I'm still recovering from death. Challenge number one is let a coin toss decide your first read. I have a coin. It is a nice Sacagawea dollar. My two books I'm trying to decide between are both poetry books. One is The Beautiful Chaos by Robert M. Drake. Do -do -do. And one is Leonard Cohen's Book of Longing. I thought I'd read this already, but apparently I hadn't. Maybe I hadn't finished it. So, these are the two books. So this will be heads because it's got her head on it and this will be tails because birds have tails doo, doo, doo. of course i just dropped the coin because that's my life two ah ah trend for three <laughs> the verdict is heads so i'll be reading i'll be reading beautiful chaos by robert m drake as my first read i mean this one can go away where do you go stick that money back in my pocket because I'm broke. Read a book about something you want to do. So the only thing I really want to do, there are several things I want to do because that's who I am, but my main thing, my dream job, which is what I'm going to take this as for this challenge, is I want to be a rock star. I'm already in a band. I was thinking of people, characters that are in bands, and I thought of Scott Pilgrim because I haven't read these books yet because I suck. So I ordered them and now I have all of them. So I'll read this nice little quick read as my number two. Now, for readathons, I like to throw in a lot of smaller books because I want to set myself up to actually try and succeed. Just keep that in mind. Then, read a book and watch a book to movie adaptation. I picked Howl's Moving Castle because I've seen the movie, but I have not finished this book yet because I suck. And so I'm going to finish this book and I'm going to watch the movie again because I love the movie. And I could have honestly done that with Scott Pilgrim also. So, about wizards, and there's a talking fire demon. Challenge number four is read a book with green on the cover. Now, because I want to keep them smaller, I went ahead and decided on the VMware Certified Professional Six Network Virtualization Cert Guide. Psych! I'm going to be reading Yertle the Turtle by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> because everyone needs to read Dr. Seuss in their life all the time. He's great and it's colorful and I like to read it with a, a beat in the background. Challenge number five. Read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. <laughs> um, so this hat doesn't quite fit in my frame or I'd wear it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get me a, my nice Zildjian hat right here. Most of my hats are too small because I have a giant friggin head. I'm gonna read The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I heard this is like Mean Girl meets Coven, so I'm gonna read that. I have to hide it currently because if I don't, my in-laws might disown us. Also, do you see this mess? There's a sticker on this book when I bought it. A sticker. So I took the sticker off and it took part of the book with it. I'm so mad. I just wanna beat somebody with the book. Challenge number six is read a book with a beautiful spine. When I hear the phrase like beautiful spine, it sounds like something that like a serial killer would say about someone's spine. I looked through all my shelves and most importantly, I looked through the books that are kind of on my more immediate TBR and I picked this. It is an unkindness of magicians. It's got a beautiful spine, but also a very beautiful cover, and I'm really excited about it. I started to read it, but then a, another readathon happened, and I ended up stopping after like a couple of pages. So, I'm gonna read this dang book. I have no idea what it's about. I just know they're magicians. It's one of those things that I, like, I read it, and I looked at the reviews of it, and then I didn't want to know anything else because I wanted to all be surprised. Challenge number seven is read seven books. So it's pretty much just add a book to your TBR. And so I picked two 
and basically what book I choose will depend on how far along I am in the like in my TBR. If I'm pretty far along in the readathon by like the last day or before that I'll read Fight Club. If I'm not that far along I'm gonna read Marbles which is a mania depression Michelangelo and me a graphic memoir. It's about somebody who has bipolar disorder so I always am looking for books about that. It's very um, all over the place. It's very black and white and I relate very much to this book just because it's all over the place and I'm all over the place. This booktubeathon starts on July 30th and goes through August 5th. So I got a little bit before I have to get started. Um, I'm pretty dang excited about it. I'm gonna try and vlog this because I suck at vlogging but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and vlog every day. But that's all I got to say. I'm going to go sneeze somewhere else and take a lot of day cool. If you would like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye!